All right, time now for Fuel Wellness and Nutrition. We're in the kitchen where Molly spends most of her time and we're talking <laughs> about uh, homemade jams and preserves. Here. Homemade jams and preserves. So you were saying just recently you and the kids went berry picking. No, we love blueberry picking. You got so many of them. So, you know, there's only so many that you eat, so you might right. be freezing them. So if you've got whatever frozen berries you have that either were fresh and now you froze them or you can buy them frozen, the idea for this is a, a DIY do-it-yourself homemade jam that has zero added sugar. Awesome. So we have um, a student from Ben Franklin, mm -hmm. uh, Grace Mobley, who's been working with us doing recipe testing and development this summer. Fantastic. She's got Grace's Food Lab, y'all. It's, a, it's a, her blog. Check it out. So she uh, works with me to really kind of fine-tune the ingredients here. Hank is whipping this up. We're doing a blueberry version. You can use any berries though that you have. So this is about, what would you say, two cups of blueberries maybe? It's about three and a half, three about and a half. 12 ounces, 16 okay, ounces of, of berries. We're just gonna put those in there. So we've got our berries, we've got very it over good. kind of a, a medium heat here. Yep. The sweetener that we did is a blend of two different sweeteners. Um, they are both plant-based sweeteners. Okay. And so there's zero sugar, zero glycemic impact. Um, it's a blend of erythritol and iolose. Um, the blend of this, I think, is just, it really mimics real sugar in here. Fantastic, what is this? This is pectin, oh, so pectin. Um, pectin is sort of a tightener. You'll see this in a lot of kind of right. natural jams and jellies. So we get all these whipped up. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit. a quarter cup of water there. Thank you, Hank. Very good. Get this going. Yes. Then once you get this going, it starts to kind of mash up. It, you've got it um, softening there. You can kind of, with a either like a fork a or- Like a potato uh, yes. thing you could use. Then the last ingredient is sort of our secret ingredient, and this is chia seeds. I mean, so how simple is that, though? Only three or four ingredients so far. The chia seeds, chia seeds. add fiber. Uh, what they also do, if you were to put chia seeds just in a glass of water, it would really solidify. Yeah, it just kind of clumps it up. Yes. Solid, solidifies it. So the chia seeds, between the chia seeds and the pectin, that's what's sort of giving it that thickening agent, yeah. but without making it slimy. So we cook it here, heat it till it mashes, Look and then that. you would put it... So easy. So Pour us out. easy. Looks like one of these right here. I'm gonna have you taste this guy because this one oh. is the blueberry. This is what Grace made in advance. Sweet. It's like an explosion of blueberry flavor. Next week, y'all, we've got store bought. So if you're not a do-it-yourselfer, we're gonna have store bought jams and jellies. Spoiler alert! I think. Fantastic. Yeah. That's the best. Uh, WGNO.com for the recipe and so easy to use. Thanks, Molly.